Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today, back in the Chaos Rising DLC for Dead Rising 3, grabbing the Finer Things achievement. This is to find all of the whiskey bottles in the DLC. The first one, once you get tossed into the dumpster by your homies, the first one will be right here. Make sure you pick it up. It's by the abandoned house in Sunset Hills. We will be starting with Sunset Hills. As with all the other collectibles in the DLCs, they do appear on your map as well as your mini-map. The whiskeys are indicated by the stars, so make sure you run around the map and grab all of them. The second one will be in the mansion area in Sunset Hills, as you can see there. Now we're going to move up to uh, this mansion place. You want to climb this spiral staircase and then make your way to the gazebo. Grab it right here. There we go. And there's going to be 30 whiskeys spread across all over town. And two of them are going to be story related, so you want to save those two until the end. And uh, this one's going to be in the hardware store. It's going to be by the front counter right here. Make sure you grab that. Moving on to the other side of Sunset Hills, lower left-hand corner. This is in the motorcycle shop. This is where you uh, meet Torque and have to bring him motorcycles. That's another collectible that is a pain in the ass, but we've already covered it. So uh, make sure you grab the whiskey. It's going to be here by the uh, sofas. So make sure you grab that, and then you can move on next door. This is by the uh, karaoke club, it's by the uh, bar and grill right here, so make sure you grab it, it's going to be in the bar, a place you'd normally find whiskey. Now with these whiskey reserves, they usually appear in bars or liquor stores, which also have a bunch of other alcohol in it, so it's a little tricky where to find it. Just look for the sparkles and you should be good. Now we're moving on to Central City, this one is by the safe house near the uh, fancy store with the uh, Lamborghini in front of it. So make sure you jump up here. You can't go into any safe houses because they're all boarded up. So make sure you uh, grab it it's right here in the uh, corner of the ledge. Moving on, this is by the hospital. It's the, um, the garage next to the hospital. And that's going to be on top of this substation right here. So make sure you grab that. Now we can move on, this is the hotel area. What you want to do is you want to start at the bottom of the hotel and then make your way all the way to the top. Just follow the arrows on the walls in case you get lost. This is the top where the swimming pool is in case you get lost. I'm just showing you right here. As you can see, we're on the very top, so make sure you turn around. And at the top will be another thing of whiskey. So there we go, 9 out of 30. Moving on down here, this is by the yacht. This is between the yacht and the amphitheater. You'll see this dead guy by a taxi cab. He's uh, passed out, chilling out with some whiskey. So make sure you uh, loot that off his dead body and then move on to the center of town. This is by the newsstand and that little middle restaurant. You want to go to the left of that. And this is the uh, little shopping strip. So make sure you uh, go over here to this nice restaurant that serves spaghetti and has a bunch of fancy chairs. It will be here by the uh, busted down railing. So make sure you grab that. Moving up here, this is the uh, back warehousing area. This is like the security um, center. So make sure you go in here, and then you want to look for the uh, security office. Bust that down, and then grab it. It's going to be right here next to a soda. So make sure you uh, grab that. So there we go. Moving on to the left side. This is by the yacht area. This is kind of by the surf shack. So there's going to be a liquor store next to the surf shack. Make sure you go in the liquor store, don't get stuck on the window, make sure you shoot out the glass. And uh, there we go, and then it's going to be right here on the second shelf. Moving on a little bit to the left right here. This one's going to be the uh, bottom of the hotel area. This is like the courthouse, basically. Um, you want to look for it, it's going to be behind the counter, because we can't go through the store right here. So just uh, turn around, and then grab the whiskey, right over here by the six-shooter. Alright, moving on. This is on the suspension bridge connecting South Almuda with Central City. You are going to see a uh, liquor truck right here. So make sure you hop out and then grab it. It's going to be on the back of the truck bed. So make sure you grab that. 15 out of 30, already halfway done. Now we are in South Almuda. You want to start off. There's going to be a cafe here. A cafe that apparently sells whiskey because there is one on the ground. So make sure you grab the whiskey and you should be good. All right, moving on. This is by the power plant, I believe. There is a liquor store right outside the power plant. It's the same liquor store as uh, all the other places. El Liquor, as it's called. You want to look for it on the middle shelf. 
there we go super duper easy and we are gonna go over here about a block ish down this is the strip club speedy G's you want to stay on the first floor it's going to be on the bar on the first floor right here make sure you grab it's going to be on the counter there we go moving on over here this one is going to be in the train it's a little dark here so make sure uh, you uh, pay attention so you want to hop in the train there's gonna be zombies in here so uh, shoot them and it will be in one of the seats so make sure you grab that when it's safe there we go and now we're gonna move down here kinda of by the docks area there is the seafood store and uh, restaurant rather you want to shoot out the window or you can take the front door there will be the uh, model ship here you gotta shoot out the glass and grab the whiskey and there we go two-thirds of the way done making our way up here this is going to now this one's a little tricky to get because you have to start all the way back here you want to start by the fireworks shop you are going to see a staircase next to it which one do you want to hop all the way up the staircase and then take it at all the way up here you're gonna have a bridge right here you want to take this into the warehouse you can also go into the front door but this one's easier because it starts you on the second floor so uh, whatever up to you uh, you want to make your way to the back window right here it's the far left with the two sledgehammers and the two by four you want to hop on this plank of wood and then take this to the other roof then you have this area this is where you find all the books in the main game to get all the power-ups but before you drop down on that shelf will be a thing of whiskey that one's a little tricky to find if you just go by your map so you want to start a little bit far away from it this next one's going to be in the recycling plant make sure you jump in it's going to be by an overturned cart right here there we go it's gonna be right here also grab some soda while you're at it Moving on to Ingleton, the lower right one right here. This is the uh, Chinese takeout area. It's so just uh, shoot out the glass and then grab your whiskey. There we go. And now we're going to move on about a block down. This area is going to be the uh, Chinese uh, like fortune shop. Basically, you want to look for it. It's going to be in this box right here next to some skizzers and your kung fu shoes. There we go. 24 out of 30. And now we're going to move over here, far left. This is the um, warehouse. You get the altimeter in the main game. It's that kind of like garage area. You want to look for it off to the left right here. It's going to be in the locker. There we go. Just five more. Now we're going to move to the center of Ingleton. Over here is going to be another liquor store. It's the same liquor store we've been seeing. The El Espanol liqueur or whatever. But uh, you want to look for it. I think it's going to be in the um, middle shelf, but this time in the left part. There we go. Four more. Moving to the north part of Ingleton right here. This place is going to be near the hotel area around there. There's going to be a door here. Um, this is the housing area across from the hotel. Normally what you do is you have to climb the scaffolding to get to the second floor, but in this DLC they boarded up the window, so you're going to have to take the front door. Lucky for us, it's open in the DLC opposed to the main game, so just take the front door. Don't uh, waste all your time parkouring like I did, trying to figure out why I can't get into the housing area. So just take the front door, like a sensible person, and uh, make your way to the second floor, and then head into this room. It will be on this couch right here. There we go, 27 out of 30. Moving our way across the street into the next neighborhood. This is the buffet place. We fought that obese lady. Now, that door is locked, so take this door. Take the side door and uh, make your way inside right here this is the uh, back door for the kitchen and uh, grab it's on the shelf right here okie dokie now number 29 this one you're gonna have to wait a bit this is when Tork tells you to get his special bike in the main game the reason we have to wait is so this gate can be open because before that point it will be locked there will be some dudes in here you have to kill them obviously because uh, they're going to bring the ruckus so make sure you uh, blow them up or shoot them or stab them uh, whatever your weapon of choice is but anyways you want to look in the storage locker all the way in the back right here it's going to be in the back left corner it's gonna be in here and it will be here by a shotgun there we go 29 out of 30 the last one is also story based this is at the very end of the DLC when you are trying to drive the motorcycle down to Shavies to uh, do some stuff, no spoilers here. Anyways, after Torque gives you the motorcycle, you're going to drive to Ingleton. There will be a house here with a garage. You're going to have to kill all these dudes 
in order to uh, open up the garage. So make sure you kill all the dudes and then open up the garage and your last whiskey will be in there. With this place, you um, it doesn't open until the end of the LC because you need to uh, get the key and stuff to uh, grab the roller hog. But once you do that, you will find your whiskey off to the left right here. Make sure you grab that off of the shelf and then that's 30 out of 30. There's your achievement. It's going to be for 10 gamer score and that's all there is to it.